Shamir is proud to present Spark Me Up, a revolutionary new measuring device that gives your clients a comfortable high-tech experience while saving you time and guaranteeing measurement accuracy. Before using Spark Me Up, you'll first need to activate your account. To do this, connect your Spark Me Up device to your computer using the USB cable provided and visit the Spark Me website to set up your account at www.sparkme.com. If you already have a Spark Me account, simply log in with your existing credentials and complete the form. Then click Submit, confirm your email address, and you'll receive an email with an activation link. Click on the link to access the Spark Me Up download page and follow the instructions to install the application. After installation is complete, a Spark Me Up shortcut will appear on your desktop. Upon launching the application, you'll be able to define your app settings. Make sure to provide your email, credentials, and your product serial number, which is located at the bottom of your Spark Me Up device. If you already have a Shamir Online account, select the checkbox and type in your Shamir Online account credentials. To automatically save your patient's measurements as a PDF file, click the On Off button and choose the directory where you'd like to save the PDF files. Then click Save. If you've forgotten your Spark Me Up account password, don't worry. Go to the Settings tab, choose Spark Me Up account, and click the Edit icon. A Forgot Your Password link will then appear. This will take you to a password reset page. Just make sure to use the email address you used when you originally registered. You are now ready to take your first Spark Me Up patient photo. The startup screen features the new measurement button that allows measurement without pantoscopic tilt and the new measurement with pantoscopic tilt button that allows measurement with pantoscopic tilt. Before you take a patient photo, make sure that the eyeglass frame is sitting comfortably and straight on your patient's face. Lenses may be either clear or dark. Spark Me Up can handle both. The Spark Me Up device should be located 45 to 70 centimeters or 18 to 27 inches away from the patient's face. Adjust the height of the Spark Me Up device so that the patient's face is in the center of the mirror. Make sure that the patient is looking into the mirror, maintaining his or her natural posture while focusing on the frame bridge. Make sure the picture on your screen is clear and in focus, and wait until the camera button turns green. One picture is all that's needed for the Spark Me Up to generate all the necessary measurements. Once the picture has been successfully taken, the patient's FAR PD will automatically appear in the results panel on the bottom left side of your screen, and the pupils will be marked with green crosses. Make sure they were detected properly before beginning the measurements. If not, retake the picture. You are now ready to take the patient's measurements. The measurement screen displays two images of your patient, a primary image on the left and a secondary image on the right. During the measurement process, you'll need to mark eight points. Some of those points need to be marked on both images and some only on one image. You can use the mouse scroller to zoom in and out of the images at any point in the measurement process. Move the image by clicking and dragging it. To overcome image disturbances, such as glints or dark areas, use the contrast and brightness slider. The current step that needs to be marked will be indicated by a red flashing arrow with a yellow line on the relevant image, together with an explanation of the measurement point displayed at the top of the screen. These are the points that you need to mark. DBL right and left should be marked on the primary image and then adjusted on the secondary image. Click on and hold the red flashing arrow to drag it to the appropriate location so that the yellow line will be tangential to the lens. Once the current step is finished, the arrow will automatically turn green. With each completed measurement step, the relevant result will appear in real time on the results panel at the bottom of the screen. Fitting height right and left can be marked on the image of your choice. 
bottom edge of the left lens should be marked on the primary image. A Navigate to the Next Point button can also be used to automatically zoom in on the next measuring point. Top edge of the left lens should be marked on the primary image. Temporal point right and left should be marked on the primary image and then adjusted on the secondary image. To obtain full measurements, all eight points must be marked. Two additional steps are required if you choose the option of taking a new measurement with pantoscopic tilt. Low and high panto point of the right lens should be marked on both images. It is crucial that the exact same point be marked on both primary and secondary images. You can view the full results at any time by clicking on Full View Results. The results will include the following patient measurements. Far and near PD, mono PD, A, B, and ED measurements, fitting height from frame and fitting height from box, DBL, panoramic angle, also known as face form angle, back vertex distance. Once you've marked all points and viewed the results, you can save the results. To do this, select Register, type in the patient's information, and press Save. Results can be emailed by selecting View PDF at the bottom of the results screen. To do this, an internet connection and an active email account on your PC is required. You can save what you've done at any stage of the measuring process. Work can be resumed later from the archived management screen based on the saved data. Measured values are validated by Spark Me Up software. If a measured value is out of range, an alert will appear next to it in the register screen. Move the cursor over the alert icons to see a detailed recommendation. These alerts are only recommendations and won't prevent you from moving on with the process should you wish. The alerts can be disabled through the settings page. If you notice a measurement that doesn't seem right, this could be due to a failure to mark a point on the image measurement screen. Simply go back to the measurement screen and adjust the points. There's also an option to edit results manually via the register screen. If you have a Shamir Online account, you can send a job directly to Shamir by clicking the Send to SOL button. Once the job is successfully sent, it will appear in Shamir Online under the Drafts section. Choose Edit to proceed with the ordering process. The Archive screen allows you to manage your archive of measurements. To review or adjust any stages of the measurement, click the Edit button of each archived measurement. To view the measurement results, click the View button of each measurement at the Register stage, just as you'd view them on completion of a measurement. If you need any additional help, check out the Spark Me Up User Guide. This can be accessed at any time on any of the application screens simply by clicking on the menu icon. The Shamir Spark Me Up Advantages Adjustable arm allows your client to sit comfortably with a natural head position. Intuitive and user-friendly interface for a fast and easy measuring procedure. Real-time measuring results. Measures, frame box, A, B, E, D, DBL, far and near PD, mono PD, fitting height, back vertex distance, panoramic and pantoscopic tilts. Measurements can be taken with clear and dark lenses. No gadgets, clips, or rulers are required. The device can be used as a regular mirror. Automatic measurement of near and far PD requires only one picture of the patient, connects to any PC, exports the measured parameters to ordering systems. Spark Me Up, the easy way to accurate measurements.